So put it for a moment, lovingly, place your hands on your own mandible. Lovingly, let your finger pads rest upon the shaft of the jaw, just below the roots of the teeth. Take an exhale or two, and if you're in a place that, where this does not ruin the decorum, I just want you to let your tongue relax, let the roof of your mouth relax, and let your larynx relax on an, on an exhaled vocalization like, uh, uh, and when you do this, uh, or maybe it's a relieved, uh, I want you to float your hands on this mandible. And I want you even to scoop the skin a little bit back toward the head and neck. Just a bit, not all the way so the skin locks out, but just a bit. So that you're almost feeding this gill arch back home. And when you do that, I want you to realize that your body in this moment is not something different than this embryo. Your body in this moment is an embryo that has reached a certain level of complexity and has reached a certain equilibrium. That's all. An adult human is an embryo in equilibrium always waiting to unfold a little bit more, but having reached a certain complexity where the gene regulation of your system is maintaining a relatively stable shape from year to year. But of course we know that an, uh, a 60 year old Skull is very different than a 30-year-old skull. We can tell the age of skulls we find in the world because this process of unfolding does not stop. You, who now touch your jaw, you are holding a gill arch under your finger pads. You are holding this bulbous fluid system embedded now with, uh, with dense bone tissue, but still still just living its life, still responding to forces around it, still driven by fluid pressure and membrane tension and gene regulation. So you are not different from this. This is not a, a, a different thing. So that means that it is very welcome by the body to be treated like an embryo still. Um, and this is the experience of a lot of body workers out there. I know this to be true for a lot of embodiment practitioners. If you're looking for a different angle on, uh, on getting to know a part of yourself, treat it like an embryo. Treat it like it is still unfolding, still burgeoning with potential, still trying to find its homeostatic norm. Um, and it's not that, uh, that you will negate other findings or other knowledge, of, you know, it's like I, I had my wisdom teeth out. That's still true, of course. But I tell you, the body responds when engaged with in this way. The body says, oh, you're speaking embryo talk. I know that language. Let me respond back with movements that I have long forgot. Let me respond back with movements of dilation and densation. Let me respond back with movements of retention and extrusion. Um, these movements preceded your musculoskeletal movement by many months and your body remembers them. And this is an anecdotal finding, but it's also related to the actual movements that embryos make. Um, so, uh, so that's my first self-care recommendation to you is um, speak embryo to the jaw and it may just respond in kind.